outlying areas most susceptible away from the city centers uh, with 38 expected in Grand Rapids winds out of the west at 5 to 10 will be somewhat cooler tomorrow uh, because of that secondary cold front coming on through. Not convinced that will be in the mid 50s for highs as our model suggesting here. Uh, but instead of ranking it to the low 60s, I think we'll be stuck in the upper 50s. 58 degrees tomorrow uh, with uh, some increase in cloud cover during the afternoon. Those winds are going to pick up in the afternoon too, out of the west northwest at 10 to 20. So a breezy day for your Thursday. And as we look ahead into your Friday, this is just after midnight here, and uh, there will be this little disturbance tracking just to our south. You can see here on the bottom of your screen uh, a little bit of our rain. There might be a flake or two of snow mixed with that down towards the Indiana line overnight. And then during the day on Friday, this is not what we want to see, but uh, this is something we might have to be prepared for. A few flakes of snow flying, possibly mixed with some drops of rain on uh, your Friday during the late morning and early afternoon hours. So an isolated mixed shower is possible on Friday with highs only at 47 degrees. That's almost where our average low is at this time of year. Saturday, not much better. At least the winds will lighten up on Saturday and uh, we do have more sun and dry conditions in the forecast, uh, but it is going to be chilly, more like uh, late March temperatures for this weekend as opposed to early to mid May. Uh, Sunday's high 52. Some rain moves in during the afternoon. That rain sticks around uh, into Monday morning. Highs low 50s into early next week. Looks dry by, by Tuesday, rather. But take a look at those lows. I mentioned several chances to get a frost or freeze. And look at that. We're hovering right around the freezing mark for almost the entire seven day uh, forecast. In fact, it looks even colder than that on Friday night, uh, where we, we could be looking at lows in the upper 20s. All right, Ty, thank you for that.